392 392 392 392 yeah yeah 392 Can't wait to put these bad boys on, man. Can't wait. Man, what is going on, everybody? 392 reviews here, man. Welcome back to another beautiful day, man. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in, man. Back again with, with another Mopar related video. Um, happy Wednesday out there to everybody, man. Um, without further ado, man, let's just get into the video. You know, I figured it was enough of that, you know, talking or whatever. Those are the wrong keys. Pardon me. Bear with me. There we go. Let's get into the video. talk about the zero to 60 times of the daytona 392 uh slash scat pack slash shaker um slash whatever you really want to call it um the six four uh so this vehicle has 485 horsepower that is the the motor i'm going to be talking about if you all are new uh welcome if you are returning uh i salute you uh we are in the the dusty very very dusty daytona uh 392 y'all can obviously saw by the intro um and yeah i just want to talk a little bit today about uh the zero to 60 times um just in general i don't think i'm going to be given any like examples of it so if that's kind of what you're looking for i apologize uh might get some good exhaust notes and stuff but not really going to be doing any testing right now just going to be going over my best time and what i've kind of experienced over um you know my year or so of ownership of this vehicle so yeah let me just get to you know get it kind of right out the way let me get over to my fastest zero to 60 time uh 4.6 um i think these are rated for maybe even like 3.8 or something like that y'all correct me if i'm wrong i've seen scats do mid fours all day uh i've even seen uh, videos of them doing like 4.4 four and uh, even 4.3. Again, I think there's a lot of factors at play here. Uh, weather conditions, street conditions, temperature, you know what I'm saying? Um, warmer the day, you're tend to probably get a little bit more traction. Um, again, the tires matter. Um, and again, uh, believe it or not, I really think the, uh, the driver matters. Um, it really kind of depends on that initial throttle tip in of whether you're going to spin or not. So I think if there's, you know, there's some people out there, not, not saying myself, cause I haven't really done too many like fly. I mean, I have, but I haven't really, you know, tested the zero to 60 time to see what we could get it the best. But I know people out there definitely mess with the, uh, the transmission gearing and everything on the scat pack and the SRT pages, um, that kind of allow the, uh, shifting to be done at your own, uh, leisure, a sense you can like, you know, you can, change when first shifts to second you know second to third etc um 
spoiler alert, going to grab some coffee. I'll probably get sick of me hearing or get sick of hearing me say that, but need that stuff to survive, man. Y'all know how it is. Um, but yeah, and then I've also seen videos of scat packs with 245s hitting like, you know, four two, four three. I think the 1320 challengers will get it in like four four seconds flat, and that's consistent with the Nexus radials on there. Um, or you know, kind of like radials. But the reason I wanted to make this video is kind of to not talk about how surprisingly fast the zero to 60 times are, but how sort of inconsistent they would be. Um, so y'all, if you're experienced, you know, with these big muscle cars, I mean, the traction is not technically the best. Even with the 275, sometimes you can't buy traction. I mean, that's just the fact of the matter, y'all. Um, so zero to 60 times are going to really they're going to be very, very volatile in a sense. Sometimes you're going to hit good zero to 60 times based on that day, and other times you're gonna hit shit. I mean, I've, I've hit five, five, two, zero to 60. For this car, that's not that good. But then again, I I couldn't have bought, bought traction that day. Um, and then when I hit the four, six, zero to 60, which I thought was you know relatively good for, you know, that's like kind of the only time I really tried a zero to 60 time. I thought that was relatively good. It was a hot summer day uh, in Cape May, New Jersey on vacation. Shout out to Cape May. Shout out to Yahoo Vacation in Cape May. Lovely little, uh, you know, beach town. Um, it was a really, really, really hot day. I had two miles in front of me, two miles behind me, little back road trees on the, you know, left or right. It was one of those roads where you had one lane this way, one lane that way, and then you had like 10 feet of grass on each side and then woods it was like a perfect time so i had to of course flip flip my baby in the track mode and kind of just and you know send it um i was actually pretty impressed with the 4.6 i felt i did spin a little bit it took a little a quick like millisecond or two to 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 hook up um and then once it was going man it, it, it was going and it's not very often on these you know, PA, you know, suburb roads where you can really hit good zero to 60s because not all the time it's flat. Um, and then you have traffic and then you have stop signs and street lights. And I mean, y'all know how that is. Um, I mean, that's how these kind of, the, these roads are. Shout out to the Y, shout out to the GOAT, best YMCA ever. Um, oh yeah, let's go ahead and stop. I don't wanna run that yellow. Um, but yeah, the reason, again, I want to talk about this video is kind of to point out the inconsistencies. <clears throat> you have cars out there like an Audi S4, BMW 340, Kia Stinger, um, Audi S5, um, what other vehicles? Uh, the G70, if you will, um, the STI, you guys can kind of get the trend. All of these vehicles, uh, smaller engine, smaller displacement, uh, turboed, and of course, all wheel drive where traction is not an issue. Um, their zero to 60 times are going to be very, 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 very consistent. Pulling the same numbers every single time, depending on, you know, as long as that engine's running at a, the temperature it should be, they should be running the same exact zero to 60 times every single time. Those cars also have launch mode. I mean, this car also has launch mode, but again, launching an all wheel drive compared to a rear wheel drive car is in my opinion, um, a big difference, you know? Um, so yeah, about to get some coffee right now, so I'll probably put y'all down for a little bit. Um, but yeah, the reason of this video is I kind of wanted to see what other people have found with their uh, zero to 60 times in their scat packs and the Daytona 392s or their shakers. I'm curious to see what people are running out there on a consistent basis. I would say anywhere from 4.6 to 4.8 would be what I'm running on a consistent basis. Just kind of like no, no preparation or anything. I'm not sitting there spinning the tires. I have Pirelli P, uh, P0s, 275s, the stock tires that I got from uh, factory. Um, not burning rubber, you know, not doing anything like that. So, I, you know, I, if I did that all the times, I'm sure I could get better numbers, but I'm just talking about on a more everyday, realistic basis. The SCAT is not gonna be running the zero to 60s that is on paper. And I think most people getting these vehicles would probably know that. Um, I would hope so, but maybe not. Um, but yeah, I'll get with y'all in a little bit. Alright y'all, just like that, we back. Um, so back to kind of what I was saying and everything like that with the 0-60 to 60 times. Um, I've always wanted to invest in, not really invest in, but kind of try a drag radio in the back setup. 
uh, just to really see kind of what that does for traction. Obviously, it's going to help it. Um, and obviously, scat packs with radials, I'm pretty sure, could pull those zero to 60 times. That they say on, you know, Google, Bing, uh, DuckDuckGo, whatever search browser you want to use. Um, the thing about it is, then you're really limiting yourself to being able to drive in the rain um, severely. But then again, you got to pay to play. So if you want to hit those numbers, that may be something you have to do. Um, but sort of, I kind of wanted to transition into uh, uh, the little snippet I gave you all. Again, if you didn't watch the uh, video where I showed uh, the new wheels, I did get new uh, the Hellcat replicas, the HC2, I think they call them, um, 20 by 11. So I'm currently running 20 by 9.5. So they're going to be an inch and a half wider. I'm going to, within the next couple months, um, get Nitto NT555 G2s, 305, 35, R20s all the way around. Um, didn't really want to stop at that light to be completely honest um, I will be investing in those just to really see what that kind of does for this vehicle um, I always if you will kind of dreamed about having uh, that setup and I almost didn't but I kind of decided to just say like you know F it and bite the bullet um, so I think for that matter, it will be pretty cool. Um, I think it will be very, very interesting to see what those do. driven a wide body, a Hellcat Red Eye, Charger Scat Pack, but I haven't really driven one, so I don't really know how they handle. I don't know how they go into uh, curves and whatnot. So I'm really going to be interested to see how I was expecting it to be less crowded here, but It's not. You know, I hear good things about the 305s in, in terms of how they bank corners, how they just ride on the ground overall. It's interesting. There's a lot of, what is it called over there? A lot of little kitties playing sports. hoping to get get somewhere where we could do a little bit of a super excited to try the 305s all around guys that's really what it comes down to um there's no ifs ands or buts about it 
I can't wait to put them on. Um, it's going to be really different. I mean, I've been driving with the 275s all around for a long time, and <coughs> they've been really, really good. Um, gotta watch myself 25 miles per hour. They've been really, really good. I've had nothing but good things to say about these Pirellis, y'all. But the Nittos, we will see. We will see. I can't wait to do a review on that. And I definitely can't wait to do a zero to 60 fit on that. That's really what this video is about, y'all. I, I didn't want to really come on here and start doing testing and stuff like that. I'm not going to sit here and just go fly around the streets like a maniac. Um, maybe next video coming soon. I will be doing that. Um, but I just wanted to kind of talk about there. Um, at the end of the day, there's some key points I wanted to, to point out. Um, and this shouldn't be really news to anybody out there. But if it is, you know, that's kind of what I want to make this channel for. Just being informative. I definitely think the scat pack zero to 60 times are extremely inconsistent. There's too many factors at play. Um, how warm your tires are, um, how the temperature of the motor is doing right then and there, how humid it is outside, etc. I think that plays into it way more than people think. Um, I think it's really, really important to understand that. Um, of course, I think for the sack of the, the sack. Um, the sake of getting the, the absolute best zero to 60 time, you'd want to run in temperatures. I wouldn't say freezing because that's obviously not good for the, the road. You don't want the, the road to be super, super cold, super cold because you're not going to get any traction. Um, would probably be in like, you know, maybe 50s, 60s. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but my guess is that'll probably pull the best zero to 60 times. A lot of motors, especially V8s, especially turboed cars, those motors love the cold weather. Um, you know, I always thought it was weird how like, you know, when I was younger, I always never understood the cold air intake. Like, why are they talking about it? Because, it, you know, the cold air does really, really good for that motor or for any motor. Um, so that's kind of the big thing. Um, if you're out there running people, like randomly, don't be surprised if you're going you're going to lose to a zero to 60 uh to an all-wheel drive car like like a 340 or s4 s5 maybe even an s3 may get you off the jump um of course you will pull because this motor is incredible and this transmission is incredible that's a totally another video but it's it's not consistent all-wheel drive will beat you probably six seven times out of ten maybe even seven eight times out of ten just kind of throwing some some numbers out there. Uh, um, and the third thing is the new tires, the 305s, um, putting them on and stuff like that. Um, can't wait to do that.